<laughs> this is not the most broken combo in Smite's history, but it was what I was working on in the days before we found it. Let me explain. This will be my fourth video covering CC chains in Smite. Each one has found longer and longer CC chains. We even wrote a piece of code to find the longest possible chain most recently finding an infinite CC chain using only three gods. And at the end of that video, I said this. I'll be keeping an eye on future updates to see if there's any way to push the three god chain any farther. farther, farther. And oh boy, is there ever. Or you can go with Bumba's Hammer. When you use an ability, your next basic attack is going to do some bonus true damage. And when that bonus true damage hits, your abilities will be reduced all by one second. And we'll see if, uh, if people can really make the most use of this. So I added the new features of Season 8 to my CC chain finding code. And, well, this is what it found. There are now a whole bunch of infinite hard CC chains using only three gods. And I'm gonna show you my favorite. Freya, Hercules, and Giannis. This one's my favorite, not because it's easy. In fact, it's probably the hardest one mechanically to pull off. But using this team, it's actually possible to have an infinite CC chain against the entire other team, which is just incredibly juicy. A slightly easier variation subs out Freya for Scylla as she has better cooldowns. Both of the combos are just pure filth. Cool skin. I am Hercules. Oh. Wait, 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 oh, Andrew, shit. you're here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Down portal? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do now. Getting pulled, he's getting pulled. I'm gonna die here. Come on, come on. Okay. I'm getting pulled, I'm getting pulled, I'm getting pulled! Down for the lift! No. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That was okay. a double move. No, okay. Oh. Mad friend. You were too far away there. It's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, absolutely oh this here. Oh no! I just... <laughs> wait three oh times, God. three times in a row. I'm okay, gonna go on her. Yeah, right? yeah, this is it. This is it. This is yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Must have been Yamoja diff. Oh my God. Check the top boy. No! <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Okay, ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for him. Uh, oh, no, I'll have it up. I'll have it up. Fuck! This is hilarious. <laughs> Kevin, right. go! Oh no! 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 Oh, okay. Drive strike. Okay. Drive it. Oh, oh. I fucking won! <laughs> oh, cause I. Wait, I got him. Oh, he ulted. This combo ended up being kind of brutal to pull off, and the reason for that is inherent to the abilities that we were using. It's really hard to use Boomba's hammer to reduce your cooldowns when the enemy is in the air or going through a portal. And although there's plenty of other combos to try out, I didn't want to stick on it too long because I had greater ambitions in mind. Going into this, we knew that a 3 god infinite chain was possible, but what about two gods? Well, it did not take long for us to find our answer. Are they Is he laughing? Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it, yeah? Yeah, do it. Uh, no! That was so gross! That was disgusting! <laughs> oh my 
my god. And he was laughing at us too. And just like that, we had a two god infinite CC chain. And what it has in common with the three person CC chain is that this too is not the most broken combo in Smite's history. It's at this point in the video that I tell you that I've been kind of withholding the full story from you. My end goal when Boomba's Hammer was announced has always been to find perfection. A one god infinite CC chain. When using the current script I have to find CC chains on one god, the highest output it returns is Nox at 16 seconds. None of these combos had the potential to be the most broken either. Luckily for me, there was an item I had overlooked that was about to save the dream. In Season 8, Malice was an item that allowed you to subtract 3 seconds from all your abilities on cooldown when you landed a crit on an enemy god, and this could only happen once every 5 seconds. The reason I hadn't considered it before is that critical strikes are by chance, and my rule has been no randomness of any kind. However, what I didn't consider is that critical strikes don't need to be random. In fact, nobody's stopping you from building a 100% critical strike chance. With that in mind, I added Malice into my script, and something magical happened. There was a near infinite combo using Artemis. The only downside was that it was very mechanically intensive. So, I got to work practicing before I hopped into my very first duels game to try this one-on-one -on -one combo. Welp, that went awfully. Truly, there were a lot of problems with the idea of hitting this combo, and I started to lose hope that it was even feasible. That is, until Season 9. Welcome to the Season 9 9.1 update show. So starting off, I think we're going to talk about Malicious Deathbringer. Malicious Deathbringer. Season 9 brought with it many changes, but the one that was most important to me was this. Malice had been removed and replaced by Malicious Deathbringer. Its description reads, Hitting an enemy god with a critical strike will subtract one second from all your abilities currently on cooldown. And this effect triggers every time you hit a critical strike where Malice had a 3 second reduction every 5 seconds, which is a pace of about 0.6 seconds reduced per second, at full critical strike chance and attack speed, Malicious Deathbringer has 2.5 seconds of reduction every second. I actually don't think I need to explain this any farther. Just, just check out the first time I tried the combo. Okay. Um, this is attempt number one. Dude, no way, man. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best one I've got so far. <laughs> All right, you wanna, you wanna see if you give it a go? And on the day of rank reset in season nine, I hopped into duels for the second time. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, is it? <laughs> 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 
Oh, it's too easy. I hit those. I hit those. Things I hit. Things I hit. What the hell? I have it up, baby! <laughs> if I die here, the game is over. 372 health, thorns popped on the other player, insane build, and a dream. Stupidest build of all time. This is insane. This is insane. Uh, yep, that. That's enough duels for the season. And there we have it. The One God Infinite CC Chain. And with that, we bring my CC Chain journey to a close. When you exclude glitches and bugs, it is in my opinion, the most broken combo Smite has ever seen. Now if you made it this far, I want to say thank you for watching, but not only for that. As of about three months ago, I've actually been working full-time at Hi-Rez Studios. And a big part of me starting this new chapter in my life is thanks to you. So, 
just wanted to say thanks.